Uh, I'm David Shaw, and I serve as the Executive Vice President and Provost at Mississippi State University. I've been at the university for over 37 years now. Uh, I grew up on a family farm in uh, rural Oklahoma and then came to Mississippi State uh, after graduate school at Oklahoma State University. I came on to the faculty in 1985 as an assistant professor uh, in the crop and soil science department there at MSU and have been in, uh, in several different roles at the university uh, during this last 37 years including uh, now as the, the last three years as the provost and executive vice president. Prior to that time, I spent about 10 years as the vice president for research and economic development. The FAO MSU partnership started in 2010. Would you share what impacts have been achieved to date? Well, our, our partnership has been incredibly fruitful, uh, certainly from our standpoint, I believe, for the partnership itself. Um, so many things have developed because of the relationship that we have. We've had faculty and students that have uh, come here to Rome and to various FAO locations uh, around the world. Um, and we also have partnered, and because of that partnership, have uh, been designated by as the lead university for the U.S. Agency for International Development's Fish Innovation Laboratory and their Feed the Future program. And we simply would not have been able to, to have won uh, that competition if it had not been for our FAO partners. Today, FAO and MSU have signed a new Memorandum of Understanding. How is this new agreement refocusing the partnership? Well, there are so many global challenges that we face, and it's going to require new and innovative partnerships if we are to find solutions to some of the biggest challenges that we face. You know, in the arena that Mississippi State is partnering with right now, for example, uh, antimicrobial resistance and biosecurity uh, in an aquatic environment have posed some very serious threats uh, globally. And we are going to be focusing our efforts jointly in being able to address that with research, but more importantly with education and with technology development and outreach efforts to be able to be sure that we are doing the very best job that we can possibly do uh, to be able to address this challenge. And that's just one of many examples that we plan to, to focus on as we think about um, the, the four betters uh, that are the, the hallmark of uh, FAO's strategic plan. Mississippi State University is looking at ways that we can find a, an even stronger uh, relationship and partnership with FAO. You talked about employing accelerators to drive this partnership. Would you tell us how MSU is a driver of innovation, technology, data, and complements, and why these are essential to achieving the SDGs and FAO's vision of the four betters? Well, we live in a time that experience great challenges, but also great opportunities if we take advantage of some of the things that are available to us today. Um, we live in a world in which uh, the digital revolution has happened. Uh, data uh, are collected everywhere, but at the same time, if we're not able to convert data into information and therefore feed into uh, good decision making, then we simply have data. And so the partnership that we're uh, now ex establishing and expanding with FAO uh, allows us to bring expertise not only in production, but also much broader expertise in areas uh, such as data science and data analytics. The ability to be able to understand the complements of, of governance and institutions and human capital to be able to fully capitalize on the information that is being generated at an at a, at a incredibly rapid rate. So again, the, the idea of, of using accelerators of data, uh, technology, uh, innovation must come with complements if we are truly to see an acceleration of solution development. In your view, what does it mean to MSU to partner with Val? Each one of our institutions, MSU and FAO, um, are internationally recognized in their own right. But I always like to look at it as there is a true synergy in the relationship that we've established. Uh, you can think of it as one plus one does not equal two, but one plus one equals 100. The ability to really synergize and 
take advantage of the complements that we bring together can truly bring innovation uh, to uh, some of the global uh, problems uh, that we're facing and bring solutions to those problems that simply could not have happened without partnerships like this one. And finally, any final thoughts? Well, today uh, marks yet another hallmark in the relationship that we have established uh, with FAO. Um, the signing of a new uh, memorandum of, of agreement uh, between our two uh, institutions is something that is very gratifying to see since I was able to actually be a part of the one that was established in 2010. To be here today and be a part of the signing ceremony uh, is incredibly important for Mississippi State University. I think what we are looking forward to is the continued expansion of this partnership and as we think about uh, our designation as a uh, reference center uh, for uh, aquatic health and aquatic biosecurity. We're seeing so many opportunities that continue to open up on the horizon and MSU and myself uh, specifically are just incredibly proud to be able to partner with uh, an organization that has such a stellar international reputation.